In the evolution of green technology, electric buses aren't exactly new. They've been flying the streets of many global cities for years. But the TZN4 is a first of its kind, an electric bus that could revolutionize mass transit. So what do you like most about the bus? Everything. Everything. Uh, it looks, it looks, uh, no noise, mm -hmm. no uh, smell of fume. The TZN4 has all the bells and whistles of a traditional bus. But it comes with a superpower, literally. It takes less than five minutes for the bus to fully recharge using an innovative charging system on the ground. Stations like this are scattered along its route, allowing the TZN to stay on the road much longer than other electric buses. We're trying to encourage everyone who travels, which represents 43 million journeys a day in the Paris capital region, to use public transport. And we're trying to move our public transport towards decarbonization, to fight against the use of personal cars and get people to use buses, trains and trams. The transportation sector is by far the largest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions in France, accounting for about 30 percent of its yearly total. The aim is to have a 100 percent clean bus fleet in the greater Paris region by the end of the decade. Battery technology like this will certainly help to reduce CO2 emissions and fight global warming. But for France to reach its goal of carbon neutrality by 2050, it's also going to need the help of its global partners. And it's already turning to China. In November, China and France launched a carbon neutrality center, an initiative that will fund joint research to advance green technologies, especially in agriculture and biodiversity. We have to work with China. For instance, France and China are both counting on forest to absorb carbon dioxide. Uh, the forests in China are very young. They have been planted over the last 20 years. So the question is how much can we continue to rely on forest plantation and carbon sequestration and uh, how much forest will help us to reach neutrality. So there is a lot of like common topic of interest that we need to address by uh, joint research. Partnerships are also being formed in the private sector. French energy management giant Schneider Electric is working with over 200 suppliers in China to help them have their CO2 emissions by next year. A lot of our research and development teams for electric mobility, for example, for electric vehicle charging, are in China. So we have investments and teams in both countries working together and then working with our customers and suppliers in, in both countries. China and France working towards carbon neutrality, a global problem requiring a global response. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Paris, France.